still breastfeeding? I'm still breastfeeding. He's a really good baby, but he's always hungry. He always wants to uh, eat. See, he wants to eat again. <laughs> I think I'll have some of that, too. Oh, excuse me? <laughs> Not that. That milk. But that's an interesting question, you know. Here we are drinking cow's milk. Why don't we just drink breast milk all our lives? Perhaps a more basic question is why we feed our babies breast milk in the first place. Well, for starters, this milk thing is unique to mammals. Of all God's creatures, they're the only ones that do it. Other animals take a simpler approach. They lay eggs and then walk away. And once the eggs hatch, the babies have to survive on their own. But mammals are a little different. Instead of laying eggs, the babies are grown inside the female. And when they finally emerge, young mammals need a lot more care and attention. Take a human baby, for instance. At birth, it can't walk or run. Its eyesight is poor, and it doesn't have any teeth. It's completely incapable of surviving on its own. So it has to rely on mum for food and protection. But without teeth or a fully developed digestive system, we have to start them off with a special food that mum just happens to carry with her. Breast milk. It contains all the essential nutrients a baby needs to grow. But breast milk is more than just a food. There's an added bonus to this stuff. Through her milk, a mother passes on antibodies to her baby, and these antibodies give the baby's immune system a head start in the fight against disease. But a baby can't survive on breast milk forever. As it grows, there comes a point when the milk can no longer supply all its nutritional needs. Fortunately, this is also about the time that the baby's first teeth start to appear. It's now time to move away from breast milk and on to solid food. Now, because milk production requires a lot of energy, the system isn't designed to keep working forever. So once the baby moves on to solid food, the breasts stop producing milk. And once they stop drinking their mother's milk, most mammals never touch the stuff again. But not humans. Many of us continue to drink milk all through our lives. The only change we make is we don't drink our own milk anymore. We drink the breast milk of another mammal. But wait a second. If mammals are only designed to produce milk for a short period of time, then how do we keep cows producing so much milk? Well, the answer is pretty simple. We keep them pregnant. You see, after a dairy cow gives birth, it can only produce milk for about a year and a half, and then it dries up. But each new calf brings a new supply of milk. So the only way dairy farmers can maintain a constant supply of milk is to keep their cows reproducing. The cycle goes something like this. After giving birth to its first calf, the cow starts being milked. At about three months, the cow is impregnated again through artificial insemination. After ten months of milking, the cow gets a short break. By the end of this rest period, the new calf is ready to be born. The cow now starts producing a lot more milk, and the cycle begins all over again. This cycle continues for about ten years, and then the cow is retired from the milking process. Now, just in case you think we're taking away milk that should be going to the calves, let me assure you that a dairy cow produces almost 30 times more milk than a calf needs. So there's lots of excess milk. In fact, they produce so much they have to be milked twice a day just to relieve the pressure on their udder. An average dairy cow can produce about 6,000 liters of milk per year. Enough to fill about 75 bathtubs. It's an impressive system, but there's still something odd here. What are we doing drinking cow's milk? Isn't it designed for cows? I mean, is it okay for us to drink the milk of another animal? Well, all milk contains the same basic ingredients. Water, sugar, fat, protein, minerals, and vitamins. 
What changes is the proportion of each ingredient. Each species produces milk that is tailor-made to meet its own requirement. For instance, young seals need extra insulation to survive in cold water, so seal milk contains a higher percentage of fat. Cows grow quickly, so their milk contains more protein. And humans need a lot of glucose for their brains to fully develop, so our milk has a higher percentage of sugar. But if milk is designed for babies, what do we do in drinking it as adults? Well, first of all, we don't have to drink milk. It just happens to be full of nutrients. And no matter how old we are, we still need nutrients. Even when we're fully grown, our bones still require a constant supply of calcium to keep them healthy and strong. And milk contains a lot of calcium. However, what we need less of in our milk is fat. Remember that when we're babies, milk is our only food. So all the fat we need has to come from that one source. But as adults, we have lots of other foods to provide us with our daily fat requirement. So we don't need as much of it in our milk. Now, originally I asked, why don't we continue to drink human breast milk all our lives? And now we know that the only reason we continue to drink milk at all is because we've learned how to keep it flowing in other mammals. So the truth is, we probably could keep drinking our own milk if we wanted to. The only problem is, to produce enough, we'd have to treat the female members of our species the same way we treat cows. Always pregnant, always eating, and hooked up to a milking machine twice a day. And somehow, I just don't think that would go over too well. <laughs>